Hello everyone, welcome back to another plastic category video. My name is Tristan and I'll be talking about number six plastic today, or polystyrene. As you can see, I'm wearing my Earth shirt today. It says, uh, keep it clean, keep it green, quite like it. Uh, the reason why is to counteract the plastic we're talking about today, polystyrene, because it's probably one of the worst plastics there is for the environment. Polystyrene can be used in a hard form. Because it's clear, it makes a great container for uh, things like supplements. However, you're more familiar with polystyrene in its styrofoam form. That's right, polystyrene is basically styrofoam. Polystyrene is very brittle and breaks easily, but that's not usually a problem because, again, it is in the styrofoam form. So it is quite you know, easy to break just like that, but most of the time that doesn't propose uh, a bad or inherent risk to the product. In a day-to-day -day basis, you're most likely going to uh, encounter polystyrene in things like uh, styrofoam cups, plates, and, and different you know, trays for meat and stuff like that. Um, oftentimes you'll also find it in, in packaging. Polystyrene is not commonly recycled. In fact, it's almost impossible to economically recycle it. Uh, that's why it's one of the worst environmental plastics in the world. Furthermore, due to its brittle nature, polystyrene is terrible for the environment. Uh, especially you know, when it lands into the ocean or into the forest or any natural environment because it just breaks and breaks into smaller and smaller pieces. So you know, it's very easy for the sun to bake this and get it weaker and weaker and it starts just shedding plastic and microplastics everywhere. Unlike a plastic, say, that looks like this, which is a polypropylene container, I mean, yeah, it's not great if this ends up in the ocean, but it'll probably float for at least a few years before it really starts to break down. Uh, that means that it is possible to clean this. So if this was littered on a beach, uh, you know, within a day or two, you know, the cleaning crew can come and clean the beach and, and, and clean the pop bottles and things like this. Whereas something like this or just styrofoam that you get out of your packaging that disperses into a million pieces as soon as you take it out of the box, uh, similar in nature, if it lands in nature, it just starts dispersing everywhere and breaking down. So it's really hard to clean. If you watch any ocean cleanup videos or you know try to clean up the ocean or the beach for yourself, you'll immediately notice that this is a huge problem. Oftentimes floaties and things like that are made of polystyrene. Uh, so when they are not used or they say disconnect from the ropes used from boats, they get washed up and just start breaking down and get just everywhere with, with no easy way to clean it. So it's not the greatest plastic. That being said, if you are looking to make more sustainable plastics, feel free to uh, hit us up at plasticonplastics.com. We specialize in making products out of PCR, so uh, ocean plastics or just blue box recycling, waste stream materials, car tires. We specialize in making products out of post-consumer recycled material. So if you are looking for a good plastic alternative or a sustainable plastic alternative, uh, feel free to find us there.